The new trailer for Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One is here, and if you can look past Wade Watts' extremely long leg on the poster, you'll find yet another treasure trove of pop culture references from the upcoming adaptation of Ernie Klein's novel. Tracer of the Overwatch series is seen charging into battle alongside Lara Croft and Chun-Li of the Street Fighter series, which is well represented throughout. Blanca, Sagat, and Ryu are all visible at one point or another. That big battle sequence is of course full of other characters ready to take down the evil Sixers. The Iron Giant makes another appearance having debuted in the first trailer, but we also get a look at the RX-78-2 Gundam from Mobile Suit Gundam, not to mention the Battletoads. Chucky from the Child's Play series executes a pretty slick digital throat slice against a Sixer. Parzival rouses the crowd by raising a boombox, a move he stole right from Lloyd Dobler from Cameron Crowe's Say Anything. Chances are that boombox is playing something a little more upbeat than Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. Speaking of sweet 80s tunes, we see King Kong jumping perfectly in sync with Van Halen's hit, Jump. And that little music cue at the very end of the trailer? That's right out of Back to the Future. And as Parzival gets into his modded DeLorean from Back to the Future, you can see he's wearing a Thundercats belt buckle. This trailer suggests that the race for the Copper Key could be taking place in Delta City from Robocop. We get new looks at the A-Team van and the 1966 Batmobile, but now we can see Speed Racer's iconic Mach 5 as well. The Joker appears next to Harley Quinn, and that hat he's wearing is probably a reference to his iconic look from Alan Moore's The Killing Joke. A bartender at this club is also wearing a pretty iconic hat. The flowerpot hat made famous by the 80s synth band Devo. In the chamber where Oasis creator James Halliday's Easter egg is housed, there are statues of Mortal Kombat's Raiden, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion on display, not to mention the dragon from the game's logo. The Oasis isn't the only place where Halliday's obsession with pop culture has taken hold. In this shot of the stacks, you can see graffiti of a Madballs toy from the 80s. Halliday himself is showing some love for Milton Bradley's Simon. Samantha, known as Artemis inside the Oasis, is wearing a Joy Division t-shirt, and as she and Wade try to decipher the meaning of the third clue to Halliday's hunt, we see they're looking at Gremlins, The Dark Crystal, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Krull, Splash, and the Helm's Deep battle from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, as possible sources to investigate. We also see that Wade has researched how to access the very first video game easter egg, a hidden chamber from the Atari game Adventure. Will Wade's research pay off? We'll find out when the movie releases in March of 2018. Did we miss anything? If so, it's possible that we already found it in our breakdown of the first Ready Player One trailer, so be sure to check that out, and as always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.